Hello, and uh, welcome to this talk today titled Design of Integrated Photonic Waveguides and Optical Fibers with VPI Device Designer. I'm Chris Maloney, Director of Business Development at VPI Photonics, where we empower you to define the cutting edge. And we've, we've been doing this globally for over 20 years through our, our software and our services for photonic design and analysis. And our software is integrated, it's interoperable, and it's industry leading. So we, we actually integrate um, simulation techniques at various levels of abstraction from devices to networks into, uh, to, so that they work easily together. Our software is also interoperable with many third-party software such as Python, MATLAB, and Keysight ADS, as well as a number of uh, test and measurement equipment. And lastly, it's industry leading. So we're always partnering with uh, industrial and uh, various research partners and collaborations to look at the industry leading applications and bring in our learnings into our software. So our flagship project product is VPI Photonics Design Suite, which includes transmission design for optical communication systems and component design for fiber optics and photonic integrated circuits, all in a single design environment and user interface. We also have tools for network link engineering. And today we'll be focusing on device simulation with our newest product, VPI Device Designer. Now, VPI Device Designer is powered by Python, so it's very easy to use. So even if you don't know Python, uh, the user interface actually uses uh, Jupyter Notebooks, shown on the screenshot on the left there, um, which can actually walk you through um, how to set up a, a simulation using Python. So even if you don't know it, the directions are there to help you learn. It's also very flexible. So because we're using Python, we have access to all the Python libraries to help with full customization of your photonic devices, as well as using the uh, integrated optimization routines within Python. Um, and lastly, it's, it's highly integrated. So this tool actually integrates well with our circuit level simulator, VPI component maker, photonic circuits. So you can take the output from your device level simulation and bring it up to the circuit level. So with VPI Device Designer, we can model the optical properties of various materials. So dielectrics, so isotropic, anisotropic, dispersive dielectrics, so materials like silicon dioxide, silicon nitride, lithium niobate, um, it's all possible there. And, and also for, for semiconductors like silicon and indium phosphide, um, we can model the temperature dependencies of the optical properties. There are predefined spectral models um, for some of the materials, as well as uh, we also support spectral functions for the materials. And, and you can also um, model the properties of metals like copper, aluminum, gold, silver, and, and, and so on. And because, because we're using Python, when it comes to the geometries that we can define, the possibilities are really limitless. So we can define 2D shapes, 3D shapes. Uh, they can be finite or infinite. Um, and we can also do uh, various techniques like uh, extruding along a coordinate axis. Um, and we can also make very complicated geometries. So you can see an example on the right there of a, a cross section width that varies along a curve. Um, so you can make your simulation as simple or as complicated a, as, as you'd like when it comes to the geometry of the, your devices. Now, one of the most important things for setting up a simulation is getting the meshing and the boundary conditions right. So again, you know, the software is very flexible when it comes to defining your mesh. So if you would like to speed up the simulation, you know, you can lower the resolution of your meshing. If there are certain areas that you really care about characterizing thoroughly, you can increase the resolution so we can support non-uniform um, grid meshes. And then when it comes to the boundary conditions, we support things like perfect electric conductors, perfect mag uh, magnetic conductors, as well as perfectly matched layers. So there's a lot of flexibility when it comes to the meshing and boundary conditions. 
Now, within VPI Device Designer, we actually support 11 different mode solvers for waveguides and fiber. So some of the most um, you know, common applications, you can see a number of the applications here. Some of the most common would be to simulate waveguide bends or multi-core fibers or, or couplers. Um, but one of, the, one of the unique things about the software is that there's actually a function to help you define which is the best uh, mode solver for your application. And it'll walk you through the different advantages and disadvantages of each solver. Um, so you can decide what's, what's the most appropriate solver for, for your case. The software also um, has the function, uh, functionality to um, use the 2D or 3D beam propagation method. So this is to calculate the propagation of light through a waveguide or an optical fiber. Um, and it enables the modeling of, uh, of devices with ex excitation by port modes, Gaussian beams, plane waves, or arbitrary field distributions. And you can see some of the examples here. Some of the different applications are you know, for multi-mode fibers or couplers or let's say splitters as well. So I'll take you through a, a fairly simple uh, application example and uh, of a, a, a Y-branch taper. And what we've done is we've actually taken this example out of literature and we built the model in our software. So we defined the, D, the geometry that we needed for this, uh, for this Y-branch. We set up the meshing. And again, this is all using Python, so it's, so it's easy to do. Um, we also calculated the port modes. So you can see some of the cross sections um, shown here. And then, and then once we're ready, once we have everything set up, we can actually run the simulation, analyze the field. So you can see I have a, a top-down view of the, of the fields as well as a cross section of, of the two um, output ports. And in the end, um, we can actually calculate the S, S matrix. We can analyze it we, and we can save it for use um, somewhere else. So in this case, what we did was we took the results from our simulation and compared it to the, the measured results from the paper to confirm and um, to confirm our result. And so once we have our S matrix, we can then use it maybe at the circuit level for a more um, complicated um, simulation. So I'll take you briefly just through the photonic design workflow that is enabled um, by VPI Device Designer. So we can start with our device simulation. Maybe we end up with an S matrix uh, as the output. And we can actually simply import that into VPI Component Maker photonic circuits. So if you have a device um, that you run a simulation for, and let's say you're designing a circuit, maybe an IQ modulator or something, um, you can actually bring in that S matrix into the circuit level simulation and, and use it at the next level up in abstraction. And then the nice thing about that is that our um, transmission design software, so VPI Transmission Maker Optical Systems, can then use that circuit within the entire optical system. So at the system level, you can have a transmitter, an optical fiber, um, a receiver, DSP blocks, and, and you can calculate things like the bit error rate. So what's really unique about this is that you can take your device level simulations and see how they perform at the circuit level and then ultimately at the system level and how it ultimately impacts maybe the bit error rate of your system. And then you can go back and, and optimize the, your device as needed. And then just to highlight the interoperability of, of this is we have many partnerships with various foundries. So we can use the various foundry PDKs in our designs. And at the device level, we can actually use VPI Device Designer to help model some of those, some of the devices um, at various foundries and, and maybe match the, the measurements um, from those foundries. Um, and then uh, v, uh, VPI Component Maker Photonic Circuits is also interoperable with many different layout design tools. So when you actually have your pick fabricated, um, it's possible to export your designs to, to these different, different tools. And then uh, lastly, you know, Python is really the glue that holds us all together. So it allows our, our different tools to communicate with each other easily. And it's really what's driving uh, the device simulation as well. 
So just to conclude, VPI Device Designer, it's a new interoperable software platform for the design of integrated photonic waveguides, optical fibers, and photonic devices. And it's easy to use due to the, uh, the power of Python. It's flexible. So we can fully customize our photonic uh, devices, whether that's the geometries, materials, simulation conditions, or, or to optimize those devices. And then it's also interoperable. So it's ideal for the design of photonic devices for photonic integrated circuits, as well as for optical transmission systems. So I wanna thank you for your attention today and please contact us if you'd like a free demonstration or a software evaluation even. So you can, you can see our contact information there. And then I'll also invite you to join us. I'll be, I'll be hanging around our virtual booth um, please stop by, send me a one-on-one -on -one message. I'm happy to chat with you. Um, if you have questions, please let me know.